afternoon friends. I am here at the top of Shambulak. This is a big mountain region about an hour away from Almaty and we're basically at the third stop, the very top. Uh, in the winter time it's actually kind of like a ski and snowboarding type of place but here in the summer people just come up here for the fresh air. It's about 15 degrees cooler than it is back in Almaty and it's just a really great place to go hiking. There's actually restaurants and cafes that you can enjoy yourself at the top of the mountain here so it's a pretty cool place. Valentina and I are going to make a picnic <laughs> in the beautiful mountains here with this amazing view. Alright guys, so we've got our little picnic here. We've got pirashki da. Adin s kartoshka i vat eti. A što ona nam dala? Ne da, ona nam ne dala. We don't have a spoon. Ну, это будет интересно. И два пирожка с how do you say liver? Как сказать по-русски с чем? Да? Так и есть, а? Окей. И один мясо. И один мясо, да. Называется пиляж, потому что он немножко по-другому делается. И внутри такое мясо. И лук там или картошка или лук, ага. Лук внутри. Ага. Here we have a rooftop restaurant. Very nice and a gorgeous view of Almaty at the bottom. And then these gorgeous mountains at the top. This would actually be such a cool lodge in the winter time because it kind of reminds me of Whistler where on each level there's kind of something different and places to eat and drink so I'm really impressed that they have something like this. Alright guys, we are heading down to the second level, на вторую ступеню, да? Немножко холодно, правда сказать, но это лучше, чем прямо плюс 30. И ты говорила, что когда ты была здесь, ну, сколько, в июне месяце, даже снег был, да? Да, да, все было. Но снег и сейчас есть, ты же видишь? Ну да, на самом верху там. Еще осталось с лесами, это была самая вершина гор на лыжного курорта Чимбулак. Да. Это около 3000 метров над уровнем моря. И температура где-то 16 градусов О. летом. Да, в октябре месяц можно кататься здесь горные лыжи, сноуборд. Mm -hmm. Они делают рентулс и все такое. Mm -hmm. Не надо как самую доску или что-то. Здесь есть прокат, да. Uh -huh. Прокат можно взять как оборудование любое, так и одежду на прокат. Ага, uh -huh. класс. Да. Надо приехать. А, это классно, ага. О, уже здесь так жарко, такая разница. Сядем на улице или внутри? Классно. Нам на пол идти. А, просто посмотреть. О, как классно. Это соль и эти светильники. Ага. This is a chalet restaurant. This would be like amazing in the winter time. But we are going to go to Paul 
which is a French patisserie that I tried in Paris. So pretty cool that they have it here, first of all, but I want to take Valentina to have some French macrons. All right, guys, we are in Paul and we are having some gorgeous afternoon desserts. Valentina got a latte and an almond croissant and I got an Americano and I got this raspberry macaron, same one that I got when I was in Paris last time, so should be tasty. All right guys, so we are just finishing up here at Chambulac and now we are going to go to a super cool place that I have seen so many amazing photos of called Big Almaty Lake. And of course, Kalsoy Lake was already so incredible, so my expectations are very high. But apparently this lake is this very unique turquoise sort of color and is just a very rare sort of phenomenon. So we're gonna keep going up into the mountains and check that out. places so far in Kazakhstan. This is Big Almaty Lake. It is very large. It's kind of a turquoisey silver sort of color. I've never seen anything like this before. You're not allowed to go in the water since it's kind of a geological sort of site, but this was definitely breathtaking as soon as I got up here. So if you guys are ever in Almaty, make sure you come check this out. Валентина, ты сделала очень интересное блюдо здесь. Ты можешь нам рассказать об этом? Это мясо из канины. Оно варится отдельно. Ага, хорошо. Потом из теста сочи не варится. А лук немножко опускается в горячую воду и достается. Все выкладывается и кушается. Класс. Все очень просто. Вот это? Это капуста, морковка, салат. Очень классно. И это как казахстанское блюдо, да? Такие. Это, это чисто, да, казахстанское. Mm -hmm. Класс. Alright, guys, I am back home, and I hope you enjoyed 
the epicness that was big Almaty Lake and Shembulak. I feel like those are two must day trips or even half day trips if you really don't have that much time because they are fairly close um, to the city and I think there's probably quite a few companies that are able to organize something like that for you or if you just want to get a taxi to drive you up there I think that's actually fairly easy to do. But just to keep you guys kind of updated with where my trip is going, um, I'm actually coming up to the end of my time here in Almaty. I already got my train ticket to Astana or Nur Sultan as it's called now. It's the capital of Kazakhstan. I actually had plans to go to kind of the west of Kazakhstan, kind of the more desert sort of parts, but I realized that if I'm already boiling in the temperature here, which is like plus 35, plus 40, I'm not going to be capable <laughs> of handling an extra 10 degrees that is in the desert in the summertime. So I realized that that probably wouldn't be the wisest idea. So yeah, I have really enjoyed my time here in Almaty. I I'm forever grateful to my amazing host here and I'm super excited to just have some downtime while I'm in Astana to just regroup myself after all of this fast-paced sort of traveling but as an introvert I really do need that balance of alone time and just not doing anything too taxiing literally just laying in bed some days so I'm really looking forward to having my own place um, in Astana and just taking it easy so I hope you guys have enjoyed this part of the trip stay tuned for what is coming next keep being your own kind of beautiful and I will see you guys soon <laughs>